This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenome from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company, Thalbix. I'm sitting down right now with Minaj Asnani, who is VP of Product Management and Design. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I've got a lot of great questions here from our tech team, so you ready sure. to get started? Absolutely. All right, let's dive in. So, can you explain from a technical standpoint how Balbix works? Sure. So, Balbix deploys sensors in the customer's organization. Mm -hmm. And what, what the sensors do is they discover all the IP connected assets in the customer's organization, whether they be devices, whether they be applications, or whether they be users. Mm -hmm. right? um, what, what we then do is collect 200 plus observations from each of these IP connected assets, feed them to our AI-based analytics engine in the back end, okay. which is running smart machine learning techniques as well as deep learning algorithms such as CNNs and RNNs and uh, statistical methods to effectively come up with the breach likelihood of any of these assets getting compromised mm -hmm. and also understand the impact if these, any of these assets get compromised. Okay, Got that's it. how That's how we come up with risk for, for an organization. Okay, wonderful. And uh, now I know you mentioned on your website that you deploy smart sensors. Mm -hmm. What makes your sensor smart compared to conventional data collection engines? Sure. So uh, our sensor, or the Balpix sensors, mm -hmm. have a version of AI algorithms running on okay. them. And, and after collecting raw data um, by looking at the traffic or collecting device or user mm -hmm. observations, yep. they're running smart uh, AI techniques to effectively understand which metadata makes most sense for, 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 for them to send it to our uh, analytics engine. Okay. And, and, and that's what essentially they do. And that's how they scale as well, mm. because they might be observing you know, gigabytes worth of data, mm -hmm. uh, but ultimately they end up sending only megabytes worth of data back to our back end. Okay. And now, can you talk about the network sensors in more detail for me? Are they doing host and application fingerprinting? Sure. So our network sensors in an organization uh, effectively observe, passively observe the traffic. Mm -hmm. And the way they do it is by connecting to the span ports of, of, of uh, important switches in the organization. Okay. For example, we would want to see the north-south traffic, and we would want to, want to see the east-west traffic in an mm -hmm. organization. Um, so that's where they are placed. Um, and they go, be, they go beyond just doing the host or application fingerprinting. They actually observe, uh, uh, they, obs they collect device observations, they collect behavioral observations, mm -hmm. and they also uh, collect fingerprinting um, you know, information around, as I mentioned earlier, um, devices, applications, mm -hmm. and users. Okay, got it. And now, how do your network traffic sensors look at encrypted traffic exactly? So the beauty of Balbix is that we don't need to look at the encrypted traffic. Really? Okay. Yes. Um, for us, our, 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 our AI engine to come up, effectively come up with likelihood and impact scores and therefore risk, mm -hmm. we only need to look at, the, look at the, the header information in the packets, which is not encrypted. Uh, so we don't really need to look at the encrypted uh, data for us to be able to come up with risk. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. And uh, now I know a lot of other attacker command and control channels piggyback on HTTP, DNS traffic, and other commonly used network mm -hmm. protocols. How do you uncover threats in these cases? So it's important to draw a distinction between threat detection technologies mm -hmm. and, and predictive technologies such as Balbix. Okay. Balbix is not in the area of detecting threats. And therefore, we are not looking for sig th threat signatures to detect these threats. What we're really doing is observing indicators of risk mm -hmm. and coming up with the risk uh, estimation uh, and, and predicting, predicting breach scenarios for, for the customers. Okay, got it. And now, for very large networks with gigabytes of traffic every second, what challenges do you face in trying to do near real-time monitoring, and how is Balbic solving these? So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, uh, our sensors don't don't send all the data that, that they're observing. Right. right. Um, you know, you might be seeing gigabytes and gigabytes worth of data in real time, but mm -hmm. what we really sending to our to our analytics engine is is the metadata mm -hmm. which our algorithms have come, up, have come up with and therefore we are able to scale much more effectively 
Okay. And so now, do your host-based sensors work similar to endpoint security monitoring solutions? And what interesting metrics do you collect on them? Uh, so as I described earlier, Balbix is in the space of predicting breaches rather than detecting attacks. Mm -hmm. um, so all the observations we collect through our host-based sensors are geared towards us collecting uh, metrics that help us determine the risk. So we're really collecting mm -hmm. indicators of risk rather than indicators of compromise or indicators of attack. Right? And when you think about the breaches and the way they happen, one of the most common ways the breaches happen is through stolen passwords. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, our host-based sensors will give us information around if you might be reusing your personal passwords for corporate use. Because if your Yahoo password gets stolen, which actually you know, a bunch of users lost their Yahoo passwords, mm -hmm. those yep. passwords can be used if you're using the same password for your corporate use. Those same passwords can be used to breach your enterprise. Right. So these are the interesting observations that our platform collects and gives uh, the, gives the enterprises visibility into what their risk from most common attack vectors might look like, such as passwords. And uh, and now, lastly, what does the company roadmap look like for the next few years? Sure. So. Uh, We'll obviously continue to expand and enhance our existing um, uh, breach risk estimation algorithms and, 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 and features. Um, we're also looking to help customers sort of automate the workflows around how they might go about mitigating these work these these issues mm -hmm. or risk uh, risk items. So we will probably be looking at doing some integrations with some of the workflow tools. Okay. Um, we'll also be looking at doing some integrations with uh, third party. Uh, third-party indicators of compromise sources, for example. Yep. And then finally, further down the road, we'll be looking to get into the breach mitigation space as well. Very nice. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.